Solidarity Rock is a group that was uh, founded with the objective of providing uh, musical equipment and other equipment for Cuban bands to, uh, to flourish in, in their own scene. Uh, they were just sorely lacking a lot of the basic stuff that we take for granted. Uh, Solidarity Rock being the solidarity between the two movements, uh, the rock and roll here and rock and roll in Edmonton. Uh, there's, a, there's a trust and there's a, like, a brotherhood there. Santa Clara de iniciar la gira de Snakes por Cuba, una banda de Edmonton que nos visita gracias al proyecto Solidarity Rock. Snakes. People would donate gear that they uh, they had but they weren't using. So these Cuban bands who've been using Soviet era gear uh, could have new instruments and, uh, and take the next step forward. People would just send their old symbols down. You know, I don't use this, but it, you know, it seems like not a big deal. But down here, it's a huge deal. It kind of seems like a natural process. Like it just seems like a natural extension of what Edmonton's music community is about. Our music is the same that they are in Edmonton or New York or London or whatever, because the ideas are the same. Like punk movement all around the world is the same. We fight for the same reason. Some benefit shows that we played, uh, a lot of bands played, a lot of bands pitched in to help. Uh, with that money, we, we were able to get uh, laptops, uh, musical interface, uh, guitars for this particular tour, um, amps, uh, and cymbals. We've just been able to to pitch in in our way, and now we're and now we're down here actually playing with these bands. Que es importante, ¿no? Porque cuando, cuando se habla de música cubana, uno siempre ve que la música cubana como que es la salsa o cualquier cosa de esto, ¿no? Que al final también es música cubana, pero que el punk que hacemos en la isla también es música cubana, ¿no? Ya de hecho es, no, son nuestras ideas, nuestros pensamientos, nuestras vivencias diarias. Y que es importante que el mundo sepa que en Cuba sí se hace punk. Que se hace que llevamos 15 años siendo punk, de una forma o de otra, con o sin instrumentos, con o sin lugares, con o sin aceptación. Eh, muchas veces las bandas punk no son invitadas a los, a los festivales que se organizan dentro de la propia provincia como ha sucedido con, con, con Escoria dentro de, de Santa Clara y es increíble, ¿no? Edmonton es kind of an isolated community in, uh, in the scope of Canada, so it has kind of a thriving musical scene. It's, it's a pretty great place to make music. There are obstacles there, but I mean, it's, you come to a place like this and you realize like, our obstacles in Edmonton and the obstacles in Cuba, you can't even compare the two, so. There's a strong kind of DIY ethos in Edmonton that, that transfers directly to a project like this, where you know what we have to make things happen or they don't happen. And, uh, there's there's a great spirit of that in Edmonton that we're proud to be a part of. And uh, just over the years playing in different bands or whatever, uh, you learn a lot of lessons. So when a project like this comes along, you're able to to actually put those into uh, into a much greater perspective. That that kind of collaborative spirit just kind of transfers over to this project in a lot of ways. It's like the development of what we grew up with, you know, the DIY spirit, basically just making it international. Punk not dead, solidarity rock.